they all wanted to learn how to build a treehouse. So there is no standard way to build a treehouse. It's a lot of improvising and finding the right way to do it in the right situation. So here's a shot taken from higher up in the tree. This treehouse we did between three trees. Um, the location was kind of given by the person who's there. And yeah, as Narayan said, there was no purchasing of any materials. It had to be done with materials that he had on site. So it was a lot of improvising, finding ways how to do it. And here these are signboards from a politician, a local politician that he picked up after the campaign was over and we made the whole, made the roof out of these sheets. That's quite interesting. What did you do with that? Made the roof out of them. You folded them because... and hooked them into each other. Wow. You cut them down each other? Oh. No. You oh. folded the edges over and made like... They were already the correct height. Yeah. 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 There's like so many of these. That's pretty good ones. Politician facing out or bike facing out? Facing out. Facing out. out. <laughs> George and Mario. <laughs> So then we also have one skylight in the roof and on the right lower corner you have a tetra pack sheet which you also had lying around there. So we just really used everything we could find to make it as quick as possible and still try to teach some standard techniques of freehouse building to these fellows who wanted to learn. What do you do with the apex? Sorry? What do you do with the apex? Same. Same, those sheets. So here on the railing you can see um, a lot of the branches that we pruned from the trees that got cleaned, we took the bark off and used them as a railing material. Um, so pruning is, we always do pruning when we build a tree house, which is because when you put a lot of weight into a tree, there needs to be some form of compensation for the tree. So it's like when somebody goes trekking, you can't put a big bag on him without any training. So in the same way, a tree will get used to the weight of the treehouse after some time. But initially, it's a lot of load. So we do pruning, which is like a little haircut that reduces the amount of wind that the tree catches, it reduces the amount that the tree swings, and it reduces the total weight of the tree. And so those branches you can use for the railings. Also, the windows were recycled from there. Final weight test. <laughs> now, every tree house we build, we always have a weight test. <laughs> so, here are 16 people that we invited up. Um, 16 daring people that were all doubting if the tree house is strong enough to hold two or five people. We said, come on, everybody up now. <laughs> and we're going to check it. Yeah. And it's still up. <laughs> and yeah, this place was a really beautiful part of Brazil. Uh, oh, Brazil is really beautiful all over. But this um, eagle village was right next to this river. And yeah, amazing place. <laughs> And Geraldo was like a, a little eco-warrior as well, like Johnny or Achilles or some of these Orville characters we have around here, like Glenn. And he was taking part in making this big uh, sanctuary and conserving the forest.